Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign on Bearpool Games. This is Ben Pope. Last episode we captured and conquered Anacopia. It wasn't a tough battle, it was an auto resolve, but it was nonetheless a victory. Decisive one, and that actually made it so we now encountered the Sassanid Empire. Now, what does that mean? Where are they? They are... Well, I think... Look at that button there. There they are, they're here, and if I was to capture this land or this land, then I would have borders with them because they're over here. And he's not, they're not very happy with me. Looks like it's deteriorating uh, because I'm a great power, or so he thinks. Um, their strength ranking is fire, uh, one, so um, they are the superpower of the world at this moment. And look how mean he is. Look at that. He's like, he's like ur, ur. I, I'm gonna get you. My name is Korsawa. Anyway, Vidimir is like, um, I'm not scared of you. Right, that's about enough for that. Um, we were just, what's it called, Re repairing these because they were damaged. We're actually making some money from this place. Uh, corruption is a problem, and yeah, that's food. It's 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 they're eating my food instead of um, you know creating anything, uh, and that will probably fix once those are repaired and stuff. On the other side, uh, things are normal. And we don't really have enough money to spend the Hun, uh, Hun army is still here. So we, we're just gonna... Uh, let's see, can we do anything in diplomacy? Diplomacy? Uh, I don't think they're gonna trade. They haven't wanted to trade for a while. Maybe these guys want to trade now since they're happy and improving. Uh, but I don't friend, think they will. Talk, yeah. we've, we've tried that before. Right, so uh, I can assign a governor out at Anacopia. Can I assign? He is eligible. Who else is eligible? You, sir. You, sir, are 19. Um, what sort of homely? Oh, jeez. Um, Procrastinator, I don't know why. And <sighs> we have to deal with some of these things. Uh, Navy bonus, recruitment, morale, and armor. Um, how about my other candidates? Who would they be? It's this guy, that guy, or Hilderic. What's Hilderic like? Hilderic is 41. Uh, probably... Okay. So he doesn't have very negative things. So he might be okay. Might be okay. And this guy, just, you know, foreign interests. Messes up his loyalty, but his loyalty is 10. So, I don't, I don't see how that's a problem. Unsure about the afterlife. Um, so, if he's governed, he has a negative influence to religious things and then uh, recruitment cost recommended for so he would be a good general um, okay so it looks like he uh, would be good at navy a bit Anyway, so if I want the navy, I'll go with this guy. If I want 
Now I'm confused which one I'm going with. This this guy was not very good at anything really. Chance of having children, negative to zeal. Uh, he has a plus to zeal there, so he's making up for it. And then he's got Bray, so he's more of a military commander. I think we're going to make this guy the governor, right? Second wind, not that big of a deal. Uh, can we give him anything that is going to help him? No. So we will appoint... Oh, close this. Appoint you governor of Sarmatia Asiatica. How does that sound? Are you happy with that? Good. Uh, and we issue an edict. And it'll probably be a religious thing because we don't really have presence of that. We could do construction costs since we are constructing here. So uh, let's do that. Growth and construction costs. Although growth is not really going to help us. Uh, and. Let's see, military presence is helping, conquest and stability, religious differences. So let's go with the religious thingy. That will help in the end. And I think, before I end the turn, I want to do something with these guys. Uh, can we can look for a wife for you and you? Um, okay, let's get off of that. Statement 19. He's gonna be available soon as well. I can't really do anything with them unless I point them some to something because they don't have any influence. So that's it. That was a long start. But we are on the way today. We're probably just gonna. Look for an opportunity to attack more on the east and uh, collect our money to improve that area and the buildings. Um, what else? Uh, there was um, possibility of um, one town over there being under siege that had a gold mine. I forgot what the name is, just north of Anacopia, which we took. And it's a possibility that we can go there. If that army that's sieging is just sieging for uh, for sacking the place and not to take it over. So, yeah, that's kind of what the plan is. If anything else comes up, we will deal with it. And hopefully it will be a fun episode. Do please comment and um, let me know what you think. I do appreciate you watching my uh, series because, well... You know, there's so many other things people can be doing, but instead, you're here uh, doing this, so it's pretty cool. Hostile agent. Mm. Encourage descent. Okay, so I wonder what that actually did for me. Is there like uh, agent activity, some kind? No. But now those Huns are raiding on my land, so... <sighs> I really don't like those guys. It would be a tough fight if I was to go in for it, but I do have some numbers. And that doesn't mean that I'll be doing good against all those high-end units. But what it does mean is that um, maybe auto-resolve would be in my favor. <laughs> so I'll think about that for a second. So there's raiding, we have loaded dice, which is nice, unseasonal conditions, and food shortage. Let's go over there anyway, as we are. Let's see, that's a sanitation building, this is a military equipment, that's a courthouse, sen city center. Um, if I was to convert these, they'll be expensive. Uh, these guys I don't have to worry about converting, but I could get fishing yetis in which would give us food uh, this is a industry so it 
Didn't really notice. I can't convert this, so I have to dismantle it. Uh, this I could convert, and it's apparently not enough money to convert. This I would have to dismantle as well, because I cannot convert it. I thought I would be able to convert it. And this I could convert it. So, which we do need a city center of, of some kind, because it's a big city. This is the um, place I was talking about with them raiding. Uh, it's the Venetians who are raiding Tanais. And if they don't take it over, I, I will go take it over. It's simple as that. Um, so it's doing okay. Um, we can almost reach there in one in one turn. So we're gonna go to like about over there. What about like, like this? That will be enough for me to um, be in range in case something comes and attacks. Uh, that's a Sassanid Empire army. I hope they're just there to, you know, show their presence. They're not really gonna cross over and mess with me. Cool. Um, all right. What to do about these Huns? I'm not at war with them, but this is pretty much war. What they're doing. Where is their emblem anyway? Oh, they're way over there. Okay. Negative 120 going on to negative 136. Hmm. Any mini mini mode. Do I want to fight them though? It's just still going worse. Who do you dislike? The Visigoths. That's probably why I don't have good relations with the it, with the Italia. Would you like to trade now? Because uh, I'm sure but we also need good food, a warm fire, and warm. Okay, so non-aggression does not work. Trade, still not good. I would get some nice money from that, which would help me with war efforts and such. I'm, um, you know what? Let's see. Horse in province, negative 22, negative 11. Um... Not really losing all that much money there. So we'll wait one turn and see if they leave. I got an achievement apparently. I'm also just trying to save money for, you know, the buildings that I have to build. And starting a war would would mean that they would just, if they decide to, you know, stop raiding and leave, that would be nice. But starting a war would mean that all the other Hun armies would just come over and, and fight whenever they feel like it. Um, which, you know, I'm not shy about fighting, but I'd rather not. Um, the AI gets a lot more bonuses and money, and uh, apparently... Especially the Huns, they have crazy units, uh, like high tier, um, yeah, towards end game, you know, war warriors and all armored lancers and stuff. And that would be a, a, a tough fight, it would be like pretty stupid. Foreign trespasser, the giants, where are the giants in Thessalonica, the Visigoths? I don't really know why they would be trespassing, because they are... Western Romans negotiated peace with the Huns. Well, that's unreal. Were declared Judea and Eastern Romans. Okay. 
Demolition complete. Let me look at uh, my Visigothic relations here, I think. We're military alliance. That should mean that we have. I'm sure. But we also need good food, a warm fire. You don't want military access? How about you join my confederation? No? <laughs> I do want your land. Uh, what else can we do? Um, yeah, I. Uh, I don't know. Relations are improving, even though they trespassed. Go figure. Okay, let's um, let's see if they're still raiding here in Pannonia. We're gonna go here. Horse in province corruption. There's no more raiding. Um, so we're losing some of the food because of them, but that's about it. Corruption is a problem, and. We'll have to make sure our governors get bonuses against corruption. Alright. So those guys took over that land. Alright. Go figure. Uh, why can't we just demolish everything all the way down in one turn? Why do I have to go turn by turn demolish? So bad. Do I get something back? I don't know. Doesn't say how much. Or does it? Some funds. Right. Uh, we have 7,000 now. Probably from demolishing these things. I don't know what else would have done it. Uh, do I want fishing yetis? Or... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could go attack Samander, take them out. Uh, that would give me another another settlement in this province. Let's see, scholar mi minus two, public order minus two, military. Military units would be nice. Which ones do I have here? I have neither on this side as well. But we have a farm, so... And vineyards. So, so I think this should be uh, military, if anything. Can we afford... Sanitation... We would have to improve sanitation. Okay, so let's not up upgrade there. Let's wait for um, wait for these to go away. And sanitation is two here. Apparently, it's more two plus two. Somehow. Courthouse. Let's let's take the courthouse into market stalls. That's fifteen hundred. Uh, the sanitation would be how much to convert eighteen hundred to the greenery. Hmm. I guess they need water in the deserts. Wouldn't I benefit from leaving this instead of switching to the greenery? For eighteen hundred, um, it's I don't know. I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. Let's go spend some money over here. I'm guessing we need it. We sure do. So the market stalls enables spy recruitment, and we can do the trade depot. We don't have any sanitation for that. No use in upgrading that. Okay, so that would be expensive, but would also produce quite a bit of wine. 
about this region. In the capital. Um... Maintenance 600, public order 5. Food from agriculture. We do have some livestock stuff. I, I think I want to go with the um, Warlord's Hold here. That's what I want, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with that. It costed five grand? Four grand. Okay. And yeah, let's just end the turn. We'll leave that 1900 we have there just for, for, uh, you know, what do you call it? It, it, it's, it's safety. It's money in the bank. It's, you know, let's not, let's not empty our coffers. We don't need to sort of wait a few months and then spend some more. This is, on, this is running on the original, uh, four turns per year thing. My other campaign has the 12 turns per year, the Burgundians, which is nice. Um, I didn't add the s slower uh, technology sort of, you know, time either. So I'm, I'm getting my techs f faster than, or at the same rate, I would say. It's still like, you know, two turns, it's still two turns. Um, but that's okay. That means that um, it wouldn't be like super boring <laughs> having to go through each month and barely uh, upgrading any technologies. <coughs> all right. Looks like all the little countries and the Romans have gone through. The separatists as well. Hostile agent has succeeded. Um, they accomplished the mission. Mission issued, um, objective, the sea carries our enemies to us, let us send them to the bottom, never to rise again. What? Class 1 Herculia, Eastern Roman Empire, turns remaining. Am I supposed to destroy? I don't understand this at all. To the depths. But what am I supposed to do? Do something to the Eastern Roman em Empire, Class 1 Herculia. That's what I'm supposed to do. Alright, has anyone... Has anyone gained anything? You can be a companion, sir. Uh, you... Those people will be el eligible soon. Why don't we marry you to somebody? No? Shoot. <laughs> I can't select. Uh, she doesn't have enough influence. She almost has enough influence. Alright. Should we try to marry him again? Let's seek a wife for Vidimir. And, you know, if these guys really don't leave, and that dude keeps messing with my for forces, I probably will strike. Are you here to recruit? Why don't we, why don't we go into this land and have a 55% chance of ambushing and then go into uh, fortify and then recruit oh I don't know we could recruit some archers um, we have these bloody pointless hurlers so why don't we get 
Uh, we get rid of one archer, one po uh, pointless hurler. Get two archers us, and get. Uh, I don't know what I want to get. I can get Lancers. Speed 90, speed 113. They're nice. Germanic Horsemen. Hmm. I made a bunch of money again. Oh wait, no, that that's... No, I still... I had like 1900 and I made 1900 so I should have had like 4000 but instead I have like 5.5 5. and, and I bought 2 units I'm confused alright good armor good speed so that's mil a melee cav and we'll do a um, we'll do a light they have like no armor at all but they're gothic <laughs> um, either way, I won't be able to catch any of those stupid things that they have. So, um, we can't even recruit another one. Because look at these. These guys have like. Well, speed 95 on. It's a light shock. Speed 84. So I'll be able to catch the hunters. Um, yeah, so yeah, I could I could catch them with these guys. And the light lancers. These guys are probably better because the light lancers would just die before they get there. So we'll get... Here, let's get another uh, light... What are, what are this called? Germanic horsemen. Instead of that archer. And um, this guy has to stay here for the public order. But we're going to increase. We don't really want this, do we? Construction sites. We want more farms. We have a farm. No, that's not a farm. It's an industry. Let's do a farm. Farmstead, a farmstead, and this is a lead deposit thing. Uh, why don't we convert this? Is it worth it? Center in four twelve. I think I'll keep the bathhouse. <laughs> I'll keep the bathhouse. Thank you. Burg, village. Uh, yeah, that would that would give this place a nice er uh, garrison in public order so let's spend money on that okay end the turn unassigned skills and uh, we want sentinel is the governor um why not we'll give him we'll give him sentinel and we'll give him food and you are an admiral and you should probably get a point here and ammo okay let's see what happens in this turn and we'll make a decision by the end of the turn if we want to start a war or not See what the Huns are doing. They're probably going to attempt to use their agent again. And blah blah blah. I never found my spy. My spy seems to have vanished. Because he was right there by the uh, by the city. That's. We'll have to do that. We'll have to look at what happened to the spy. Come on, Africa, Britain, Septimania, Gaul, Hispania, Illyria. There's the Illyrian. Somebody's moving. All right. Natural causes. 
Um, he was a... What the heck was he? Okay, so offer secured for Tibil Tibi Three B Jules. Three B Jules. Rejection, he <laughs> there'll be no marriage. Son of a gun. He keeps he keeps losing control. Balance of power, current balance of power is fifty three and it has shifted as a result. What it means to rule here has changed also. Here's the winds, where are you? Go. Focus. Okay. Um, we're making less money now. It's obvious. Okay, so where is our spy? I think they probably killed my spy and I have no idea. Um, let's see. Why don't we just go through all the forces? This should go to the spy as well. Yeah, no. I am spyless. Let's recruit. Um, spy master. Want to authority. Double agent will be... Uh, movement range misdirect and the courier would be unit experience for cavalry in a comp uh, co cavalry recruit was Safrax another Vidimir or Hethin I think we'll go with this guy we will recruit a spy okay and you can make your way up here next time Uh, they're taking attrition. We're not. And we'll be able to get champions in three turns. Which will be nice. Let's go over and improve our situation on this side. We could definitely do with a farm. Or. Or boats. Or, or, or a farm. What's it called? Fishing Yeti. Yeah, I don't know. We'll keep the waterworks for now. I thought I was dismantling this. Apparently I did not. It's 9,000 to convert to Berg. To Berg. Takes forever to get our units replenished. Where is this desolate area? There. Okay. So I could do that. I could grab that land. Um, kind of want these guys to trade with me. Please. There's a good pork roasting for you, and better ale and meat. Let's try another question with some payments. I really I don't know what to do with you, but we'll wait. We'll wait. You're you're friendly, you know. So that's fine. Okay, so we will need a artisan to get some kind of fighting units and we could use it a farm. Uh, which will also give us some kind of units, but not very many. But we could use we could use the food for this area. We have no food, and we'll wait on the the yetis. Maybe get real boats there, like a military, make a military presence, uh, navy presence. In fact, well, I I've, I've kind of ran out of time, you guys. Um, I'm recording a few episodes at a time and just, you know, uploading um, one a day, but also with a few days in between. 
Um, I'll make a decision whether I want to start with the war with the Huns, but but if you see this and um, you think it would be a good idea, or if I should um, keep doing what I'm doing, just kind of wait them out. I I kind of feel like I need better units in order to do that, and I'm not making enough capital money. Um, and you know it takes forever to improve our tech and everything. We're we're definitely. I mean, we. I could have. I could have um, got this. I was close. I had like you know seven thousand, so I could have waited. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it it costs a lot of money to upgrade your your units, but the PC has it. The AI, I mean, has has that type of money, and um, they're putting it to good use. That's about all I'm gonna ramble on today about things so i do hope you guys enjoyed it if you have please do hit the like button um hopefully my tactics and thinking is helping you out on your battlefield that's kind of the idea of this is not just you know watching somebody play for no reason you kind of want to learn something so i hope i accomplished that and i do appreciate you watching my content hopefully i will see you next time bye